So you come home from a photo shoot, import the photos into Lightroom, start editing, and realize that one of your favorite photos from the session was shot a little too close and your model or subject won't fit inside Instagram's 4x5 crop. If she wants her legs in the photo, then her head is not in frame, and if she wants her head in frame, then her legs are not. Most cameras capture photos with a standard aspect ratio of two by three. This means if you're not taking into consideration Instagram's crop when shooting and you're shooting too close, then you may have problems with trying to fit your model or subject into frame. Now, if you know anything about me, I'm a portrait photographer, which means I usually edit 20 to 50 photos at a time. And I can't be spending 30 minutes on each photo trying to fix this issue. So I found this super simple and really fast way to expand your photos so they don't get cut off by Instagram's 4x5 crop. Let me dive right into Photoshop and show you how exactly I do this. Okay, so we're in Photoshop and the first thing you wanna do is import your photo. I'm actually gonna show you how to do this on two different photos, one super simple and one a little bit more complicated. Now you can do this one or two ways. You can click on the crop tool and select four by five and then extend this to take up our entire photo. You end up getting these white uh, edges around our photo. And then all you really have to do is fill up those white edges. But if I'm delivering these photos to a client, I wanna keep the aspect ratio consistent at two by three so the client can use them for other purposes than just Instagram. Whichever way you wanna do it, the method works the exact same. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you both. So this is our first photo from a shoot I did with my friend Eunice. The first thing we're gonna do is grab a hold of our background layer and we're gonna duplicate this by dragging this to the little plus button and it'll duplicate our background layer. Then we're gonna go ahead and unselect our background layer, making it invisible. After you cropped your photo four by five, this is the exact size that will fit onto Instagram with no cropping. So what you're gonna do is grab a hold of your rectangular marquee tool Make sure your background copy layer is selected and not your main background layer. And then you wanna go ahead and select the white borders of our image plus a portion of our uh, actual photo. After you made your selection, you wanna go up to edit, click on content aware scale, and then basically it transforms our selection into like a transform selection where you can actually drag the middle node or drag one of these nodes and expand the photo. So if you, we grab a hold of the middle node, just drag it out to the edges. You can see that it basically stretched out our photo and filled up those white borders. Now, I know what you're thinking. This photo looks horrible. It doesn't look realistic at all. The photo's like stretched out and people will be easily able to tell that, you know, this wasn't part of the photo. So what we're gonna do is actually go Command Z or Control Z if you're on Windows and go back just before we made our selection. And the thing that you wanna fix here is when you're making your selection, you wanna grab more of the photo. The more photo you take, the more cleaner uh, your stretch will be, if that makes any sense. So before we took about this amount, now we're gonna take all the way up to about her elbow. And then we're gonna go up to edit, click on content wear scale, drag it out. And now you can see that it's much more realistic it's not as blurry and it actually looks like it was part of the image. So now that you know that, you can just easily go ahead and make our next selection on the other side, click on edit, click content wear scale, drag it out, and you have the same thing. Now this photo is perfect as it is. You can post this on Instagram and there's gonna be no cropping whatsoever. You can see this if we go up to the crop tool, select four by five, it's already selected. And then, you know, it takes up the entire photo. There will be no cropping when you put this on Instagram. So this is a photo from a Valentine's shoot I just shot this week. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and give this photo a four by five crop just so you have an idea of what we're working with. So if we want this photo to have a little bit of headroom above, then we're cutting off her hand at the very bottom. And if we want her hand in frame, then there's not much room left above her head. And when you post this on Instagram, it's just not gonna look right. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. What we can do is go ahead and do our first method. We're gonna do the same thing for the right side. And I can already tell that we're gonna have some issues. You can see that the chair 
here is stretched out and it just doesn't look right. If something like the floor or the edge of the couch is being cut off, Photoshop doesn't know what's supposed to be there. So what would I do with this photo? I would mess around with the edges that I know will be easy. In this case, it would be the left side and the top of the photo. I know they're easy because there's a lot of information to work with. And if this wall behind her is stretched out a little higher, nobody's gonna know that there was, you know, the roof was supposed to be there or how high those walls are. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the other method that I would recommend if you're delivering to a client and you wanna keep the same aspect ratio two by three. So if we go ahead and duplicate our background layer and deselecting it and only having our duplicated layer selected, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our second method by clicking Control T or Command T and just holding Shift and sizing down from the two edges that we know we can fix or work with. So we're gonna go down to about here and make sure you're holding shift again so you're not distorting the photo. And we're gonna go to about here. We're gonna click the check mark here. Now all we have to do is select our rectangular marquee tool and select a portion of the white and a portion of our photo. And then we're gonna go ahead and click edit, contour scale and drag this out to the edge of our canvas. Now, I don't know if it's popping up on the video, but you can see that the picture frame or the angle of the picture frame is actually distorted. It doesn't follow the same angle as this part of the picture frame, but this is super easy to fix. What we're gonna do is click Command Z or Control Z to get our selection back. And then we're gonna go ahead and right click on it, click Free Transform, right click on it again and click Skew. And then basically we're gonna grab the left top left corner uh, node and just drag this down until the angle matches the picture frame. About there seems right. So we're gonna do the exact same thing to the top of the photo. We're gonna go ahead and select it, click edit, content aware scale, drag it up. And we're actually gonna go above uh, the edge of our photo just so it covers the white part of the canvas and just drag it until it's filled out. Click the check mark. And you can see that we ran into the exact same issue. We can do the exact same thing we just did with the picture frame. That's how I would recommend doing it. But for this, it's actually a little easier than that. What we can do is you can select all the way to the corner of this picture frame and get as much as that wire and then drag up from there. And you can see that it just takes a pattern of the wire or the cable from the very beginning of the picture frame. So it's very unnoticeable, but you won't have that luxury with a lot of other photos. So the other method of just using the skew tool works a lot better. And this is our final photo. If we make the background layer visible and unselect our duplicated copy, you can see that this is how we started and this was the original photo. And this is how it looks now. We have a lot more room to play with and it should fit on Instagram's four x five crop. So if we go ahead and click the crop tool, select four x five and just drag this out to the very bottom, you can see that now we can actually have her hand still in frame and we still have a lot more headroom above her. Click the check mark and now it looks a little bit better than this copy of the photo. The last thing I will say is pay attention to what you're doing when you are stretching out this photo. For example, this picture frame in the back, we did stretch out this art a little bit, but the majority of people will never know what the actual art piece was supposed to look like. So, you know, they won't even notice. You can always just enhance the bokeh, you know, by using Photoshop's neural filters and just enhancing that background blur so nobody's able to tell. And that's it. Now you know how to resize your photos for Instagram without cropping the photo. If you learned something from this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Subscribe to see more content like this and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching.